funny news actually courtesy of the Joe Biden podcast I'm not going to play because they always strike down videos and whatnot but the Joe Biden podcast a podcast that I would, was a big fan of for a very very long time that ended in very unfortunate way mostly because of Joe's incredible ego um entitlement um lack of respect whatever it may be led to the in, the original show or original lineup kind of splintering into two the other two boys Rory and Marv set up their podcast and then Joe Budden basically got Ice and Ish to basically replace them and since then you would say both people have kind of you know landed on their feet new Rory and Marv basically announced that they had a podcast deal that they announced I think it was like 20 million deal where they get to do three shows or two shows a week sorry um, with some live bits here and there some skits they do here and there but they've they've approached it pretty well i think um even more who's kind of been boring at the beginning but he's kind of i think felt his groove or found his groove over the last couple of weeks they've added some good co-host type people behind the scenes who do really well like baby d demaris on flipping um new warrior Mar has done a great job um also again the job on the podcast has landed on their feet too i should have been good replacements for rory Mar on the show and so far they've been okay patrons popping it is what it is but there's no denying the magic of the show has been lost with that that without that original lineup and you'd imagine doing a live show part of the reason that live show was so successful is because there were different hives for the different coasts right there was a parks hive there was a hive for Ma or half high for rory joe some other people else and some other ones involved too did maybe the booking and the camera behind the scenes and screen man they all had a little hive so part of the experience again i didn't go to a joke on the podcast live show i wish i did now you know of course the original lineup is broken up part of the appeal of going there you would imagine would be that you get to see all these people that you're fans of right in real life um similar to seeing a reality tv show you know people come through at your local nightclub or something i imagine it'd be the same sort of thing right you know these people because you watch a lot of content about them listen to them all the time so you want to see them meet them in real life so it didn't really make any sense to me when he announced a tour anyway because it's like are ice and ish really going to come come you know get people out of their houses to buy tickets to go somewhere like it just doesn't make any sense and obviously you know it's been proven to be true because as of the most recent episode joe budden announced that the podcast tour that they put on which they filmed an entire skit for has now been cancelled um they had to cancel it because of i think low ticket sales but again joe would never admit that so he basically said the climate's not right all these buzzwords that don't really make any sense it's funny because i'm sure if he heard somebody else saying that like a chance the rapper or somebody else very prominent and they said something along the lines of oh we didn't sell because of the climate he'd be absolutely clowning and dunking on them in his podcast but because it's him we're meant to have more sympathy and look at things you know with more charitable eyes and whatnot but the truth remains those guys just don't sell tickets the way that you know the original lineup sold tickets and fundamentally even bef even outside of that i think part of being a successful content creator in some way shape or form especially when you want to do live shows you really need people to like you you really need to be someone that people can root for they can rally behind and i feel like over the years joe has become such an unlikable person especially in a community of people with people you say kind of let's say the urban community i feel like we give a shit more if you're not a nice person you probably won't get that far whereas i think if you've got you know let's say a predominantly mixed audience where you've got a few whites in there they probably won't give a shit what kind of scumbag stuff you do they're just here for the show but i think because he has turned off so many people over the years especially with this latest stunt with the new rory and more so rory and more kind of getting kicked off the show due to them basically asking for more accounting and details on how the splits were being divvied up i think people just completely turned off to him as a person i think that might have impacted the show way more than he has realized than i have realized as a fan and maybe as other fans have basically realized maybe subconsciously people are like oh they picked a side we're going to rory and Mo, we're going to joe no i think some people just got turned off to him as a person i know i did I know I find it very difficult to listen to any content with his voice now because it just grates me knowing that how, you know, how he basically scammed his friends in such a really disrespectful, weird way because he legitimately thought he was the number one reason why people came to the show. And, you know, now that the podcast has been cancelled, sorry, the tour, it brings to mind that, um, that one of those last episodes before the guys broke up where 
they were having some sort of back and forth maybe retelling the argument of that they had the prior day and i think more said something underlines of all oh, one of the things that really annoyed him was when joe one time at a live show said in the green room oh i've got them i've got them lined up around the corner right meaning the people queuing up to see the show and Mo had to correct him and said no no no, we have them wrapped around the corner we do and i think he says it was a little slight there was something that he kept in the back of his head like why would you say you have them wrapped around it's a pod it's a podcast right there's all of us on here and i think fundamentally you know to its foundation to its core i don't really think joe honestly believes that those guys contribute as much as the fans say that he contribute to the overall success of the show he generally thinks that he's still the main reason why people tune in he might be somewhat right because of the show still going because you know you'd imagine if those guys were as important as maybe some of us think maybe the show wouldn't be around i'm not really too sure that doesn't make no sense but in terms of going to the next level and getting people to leave their homes and pay for tickets and travel to places you really do need to be likable and have people that people can kind of get behind and with ice and ish being somewhat regular dudes and friends of joe but you know to the grand scheme of things no one really knows them like that it was basically a hard sell it's a big step down for the original lineup to go to watch ice and ish talk on the stage about whatever they're going to talk about but um yeah there is some sweet justice to it all but in actuality as being a fan i'm not really stoked on it i've always said as much as i dislike the guy i still want him to win i still want him to get one bag you know just one big hefty bag just as like a kind of thank you for all the work he has done in terms of laying the ground for that whole space of podcasts that kind of emerge off the back of the joe Budden podcast right i really do think he deserves that but considering the way kevin hart spoke about him when the pod broke up at first and whatever maybe i get the feeling that people in the industry like the real money men the people that really press the button and get you deals and whatnot i just don't think they like the guy like they don't want to do business with him he's turned them off in a way where that probably avenue isn't going to open up anytime soon which is a shame like i said i still think he deserves a bag um but you know it is what it is the gig is a gig as you say um he shook the tree and this is what he got